going to do a little collection update as I've put in my post I've got 159 I believe is actually at my house right now so um, as you can see I'm going to hold behind me too them all. I'm trying to think of how I want to put them back on the wall. So, um, section by section, I think. And so, I've got my game ones. I've got your standard Master Chief. Yeah, he's in a pop protector. Some of mine are in pop protectors, but a lot of mine, I, I lost a pack. So, um, yeah, he's the only one I've got from the set. I haven't got, like, the red and blue span. I haven't got Katana. And I don't have any of the variants. I just have Solo, Halo Master Chief, but he'll do for now. Another one of my games, which is another one of my more valuable pieces, is Tails. Again, he's solo, I don't have Sonic, and I have Knuckles. We can hope, but yeah, Tails, he's one of my favourites. He's one that my son's got his eye on too, sadly. Um, let's see. There are my Blizzards. Commander Shepard, a Mass Effect. The reason this one's in a pop protector is because it's signed by Mark Mir and also my MCM again. Again, I have um, two more. I actually have um, Garrus and Tally, which I'll show you in a minute. I don't have Grunt and I don't have them around there. But to be honest, I'm not that bothered about finishing this collection. Some of them I know I'll never finish and the others, it's just like, yeah, well, you're never going to do it, are you? Well, here's Tally and Garrus. These are among the, some of the first I got, actually. I got these about, um, about August last year. The first ones I actually bought was um, over in the DC area over here. I got them MCM 2014. was my first ever Pops. One I gave away and one I kept, but the one I gave away I re-bought at MCM this year. And now uh, my uh, Blizzard ones. For my Warcraft sets, I have Illidan, Shadow Illidan, I'll probably never see you, sadly. I've also got Arthas. And the back seas are both just the same. You can see all the Diablo pops at the bottom there. For some reason, it's only got the two Warcraft pops at the top, even though there's a lot more. And then I've got a Deathwing on order. I've got a Murloc on order. I've got the Murloc triple pack. I think it's quite a strong SDCC this year. And um, I also have BlizzCon Murgle. Again, on the back of this one, it shows you all the rest of them. So obviously, I'm missing Thrall, I'm missing Sylvanas. I've got Deathwing on order, and obviously, your regular Murgle there. Yep, yeah, I have the. Well, that one of the two most viable pieces of the Blizzard collection, just not the Shadow Illidan. And also from the Diablo set, which is, well, actually, there's two Diablos and two Starcrafts, because you've got Thrall and Diablo himself, and you've also got um, Kerrigan and Jim Rayner there from another Blizzard one called Starcraft. It's, it's Diablo. I actually think I got Diablo in my pop in a box sub a while ago when I was just like, oh, he looks so cute, he was meant to be mean, he's so, so cute. Right, and um, what, what pack shall we tackle next? Um, well, this massive one here is my Game of Thrones set, so I think that one's probably best left till later. Um, let's pack on with the Marvels. I do have some more game ones, but they're all... Kind of sort them into like standalones and stuff, strangely enough. Right then, here's my Hot Topic exclusive grey Wolverine with the red eyes variant. I don't actually have um, any of the rest on the back of here, but as I've frequently been informing you all, I'm not exactly a huge Marvel fan, but I do have a few. So I have um, the grey PX exclusive. Deadpool here. Obviously there's no PX sip on there, but I really don't care. 
I do tend to be a bit stiffer crazy but with these I'm not so fussed again I believe this was a pop in the box sub too or I got it somewhere else I forget again I have none of the rest of the back on there either again not so bothered forgot all the Deadpool variants that'd be a pretty pretty damn cool thing and we have Frost Giant Glow in the Dark Loki he's in one of and again He's from a set of four there. We've got Heimdall, Lady Sith, Odin, and obviously Loki, but he's very clearly the variant one. He was um, one of my Glow in the Dark collection. What do we have? I have. Ah. Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. Again, the box is a little faded. I bought him from. Um, Geeks Unleashed, the first time, my local con, first time I did my own stall there. She was a little dusty, and because I used to have them stacked up on my windowsill, the light got them, and a couple of my Game of Thrones ones the same. But yeah, that's, um, he was a, one of the first few. And we have the amazing Spider-Man, I've actually just noticed. It's got the security tag on it, I really didn't know about that one. But I got him as a secret Santa gift from Funko Pop Community UK, which was really, really kind. I got him a couple of sweets, and I believe I got him a mystery mini as well, which my son claimed. But it was all nice. Yeah, I may not be a massive Marvel fan, but it's always nice to get something from someone else, which is very kind of them. I have the awful underground toy sticker on my, on my black suit Spider-Man. I'm only missing one from this set, which is the 2099 yeah, Spider-Man, but I can't say I was too bothered about him. Yeah, it's my black suit Spidey. My other two Walgreens exclusives, and yes, they have the Walgreens stickers, which is my Punisher and my Venom. I got those imported from America via um, J&J shipping. I only asked for those two, but this was only the two I primarily wanted, but then obviously I had to get him. Which I might have to get twenty ninety nine just so that set's done. Here's another one. My um, sticker exclusives. From the Marvel Collector's Court box last month for well, the July. No, June, sorry, June. Forgive me. And it's uh, my unmasked Ant Man. And you've obviously got your little uh, micro Ant Man there too. I wasn't, when I knew I was getting this box, I was a bit like, oh, for God's sake, because I got billed twice. But, um,. They both came, I sold the others, the whole lot of the others, and then I got, got him, and when he turned up, I thought, I'm actually glad I've got him now. So anyone that's on the fence with a lot of Marvel Collectors Corporation stuff, I would definitely get it, because it's well worth it in the end. Because even if, I mean, you're not a massive Marvel fan, you do think, well, actually, I wouldn't have wanted that, because the amount of people you see on the page is asking for them, and you don't want to be paying for the prices. Another one of my Collectors Corp boxes, this heavy little beastie. Cheers. Obviously, Hulkbuster, he's obviously from the Age of Ultron set there. The only other two I've got are Mark 43 and Ultron, who I'll get out in a second because these are my last two Marvels. Yeah, obviously he was the first exclusive from the Marvel Collector's Court boxes and he's still hot totsy right now, but we do enjoy him. So here we go. I am on Mark 43. Ultron. Anyone interested in any more of the San Diego Comic Con exclusives like the Grinning Ultron? You can actually pre-order him on Pop in a Box. I mean, yeah, you can go to Underground Toys, but you'll probably end up getting that awful Underground Toys sticker. You're not guaranteed to get the sticker either way, but you want to go for your custom service, go with Pop in a Box or another independent retail like if Matty Bourne gets them, who runs Avengers Mansion, or Sarah, who runs Branded. It's quite a lot on, out there that are more reputable sellers and you've got a problem they'll deal with it like that but underground toys no they'll take your money and just sod you basically and then there's some more of my standalones judge dread obviously standalone but the, so the back's just good old judge dread i also have only two from the kill bill set which is um go go yubari I have both her variants, so I've obviously got to get Orin Ishii, Bill, Crazy 88 and The Bride, but you know, not a big deal, so you can 
can see, obviously there's the standard go-go, and then you've got your Entertainment Earth exclusive, so you can see she's got bleeding eyes there, which is pretty cool. Other than that, that's, yes, the only, only difference in her, really. Not that it matters, but I mean, I really like Kill Bill, so the bleeding eyes one's a must. This is another complete set, or complete set so far, which is my Viking set, Ragnar Lothrock. I do actually have them all, I'll show you them all in a moment. But yeah, you've got Ragnar, Lagatha, Rollo, Floki, and the Seer. I'm put these on the side here. Here's Lagatha, see with a shield, and, um, and a sword as well, it looks like a long sword though. See, Ragnar's got the same shield, obviously we have um, Katagat at the same place, he's got an axe, we have Rollo, which if you've seen it, obviously Lagatha was Ragnar's wife, and Rollo is Ragnar's brother. He's also got the same shield, he's also got a carrying a sword just like Lagatha's shield maiden. And then we have Floki, who's got a little dagger and a little axe. He's um, the boat maker, and he also... It's a bit like crazy, but he's really funny. He makes the boats. And he's very influenced by the gods, which a lot of Norse, they're all very much into the whole gods thing. And then you've got the seer. Now, the seer is just like who they go to to consort with the gods, and he tells people about their fates and their futures. Like, Rollo ends up going to see him at one point, and he tells him that. He shouldn't despair because if he knew what the gods had in store, I believe he said he, you'll run naked on the beach. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if he'd do that exactly. Some more of my little randoms. I've got some random, just singular ones. I've got sets. I've got um, Kratos from God of War. Obviously, he's just a standalone, so, yeah. Well, we've got Fear Kratos on the way, so he'll have a buddy. Fear Kratos is um, a GameStop exclusive one, which you'll most likely have my GameStop sticker on. I think I've seen it with him. And he's just exactly the same as that, but he's black. Now, this one's got a bit of weight to him. Cthulhu. He's obviously the master of... Oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But you can try and pronounce that if you wish. But yeah, <laughs> I just had to have him since I saw the South Park episode with him. But yeah, he glows in the dark too, so that's another one of my little glow in the dark sets. I've also got the PX exclusive um, Governor with the eye patch. After, yeah, spoiler alert guys, Michonne takes his eye, but he had it coming. He does a lot of bad stuff and it continues to. Yeah, obviously it's not the bloody one. I think it's bloody one anyway. Even if it's not, it's just, I don't care. I'm, I just like the governor as a character. The Walking Dead sets one of them ones I didn't really want to scratch the surface of, but from the Sedition Three, you've obviously got like, um, yeah, Prison Yard Rick Grimes. You've got Mel Dixon and um, Prison Guard Walker. So this will be obviously just as they found the prison then. Obviously, and yeah, things go down. Right, please do not this. I have a word about my pronunciation on things because I'm quite bad at it. But yeah, we've got um, Len Kagami, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And you can also get, um, who's the male version of the Vocaloid, because the female version is Rin, and it's also Miku Hatsune, which is two variants of her. So for this collection, there's actually four, not the three that's shown on the back, because there was also a Hot Topic exclusive um, metallic um, Miku Hatsune. I would like her because I obviously I'd want to be dressed up in my cosplay to do it. Yeah, um, here's um, one of my Hannibal ones. I only got one so far out of the um, six, I believe. There's only six of them. But yeah, this is just Will Graham obviously in his um, straight jacket when they he's. I believe they think that he's um, Hannibal Lecter at this point. Obviously they don't know it's Hannibal Lecter. I can't remember the name that they give him, but. Um, it turns out that they know it's not him in the end. But yeah, he comes in a collection with, you can see, Standard Will, Windigo, um, Jack Crawford, I didn't have to look at that one, and um, Hannibal Lecter. The other one in the series is a, um, which was San Diego Comic Con exclusive last year, Hannibal Lecter, which was a bloody one. There was also another Hannibal Lecter pop, um, 
he was Brian Fuller, but he was um, really hard to get hold of. I've not even seen him about, but um, I'm hoping to get him because I'm a big Hannibal fan myself. I also have um, one of my stickers, Walmart Racing Stripe Toothless here. He comes from a set of, well, if you can include variants, it'd be eight, I believe, because you've got, um, there you go. Hiccup, Astrid, Bath and Belch, um, Stormfly, Toothless, and, um, oh, that's it, Hook Fang. And there's also a metallic version of Toothless as well, and then there's also your standard two. And then another one with Glow the Darts. And that Slimer, he's um, one of my stickered San Diego Comic Con exclusives. But um, mine, as well as everyone, a lot of other people, so I've heard, because he's a one of um, 2,500 pieces, which is quite a lot of them knocking about, but quite a lot of them ended up not being glow in the dark at all. So you can see all the, um, all the Ghostbusters there. But your Stay Puff, Marshmallow Man, Slimer, Winston, Venkman. Spangler and Stance. But obviously the only way that you could get Winston was... I don't believe he was on his own, unless you get him in those packs. And then you also get him with your, with your when you get Ecto. But they never made him on his own standalone pop, which is a bit peculiar. I only have the one Star Wars with the uh, Underworld Toys exclusive sticker. Um, I think he might have been a Con exclusive or a Hot Topic. I'm not sure, but as we all know... And, um, I don't know, I'd always like to stick their own sticker because in the UK we don't get the standard stickers unless you um, source them elsewhere, which they don't like you to do. It's not legal. You can do what you want. They're just pops. Yeah, I've got loads, but why do that? But yeah, here's the um, Hoth Chewbacca, which obviously you can see. They're all covered in snow. Yeah, I think they were all cons, but then you've got all your other ones there. Figrin, Han Solo, Hoth. Two back off and R two D one. There you go. So that's set. And um, the start of my True Blood collection. That's the um, another HBO show like Game of Thrones, which um, we'll get to probably that collection will be the last one I go to because it's the biggest. But yeah, Eric Northman. He's the um, I think he was one of the Ranger or something they called him with the Bonton where they are. Yeah, as you see, we have Suki Stackhouse, Eric Northman, Bill Compton, Alcide, Pam, and Lafayette. Right, I will eventually get all these. There were no variants in that selection either, I don't believe. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they were all just stern standard pops. And here I've got uh, my Attack on Titan 3. I have. Erin Yeager Hot Topic exclusive. Um, for including all variants in this, there are only five in this series. Because we've got Erin Yeager, Mikasa Anchorman, Colossal Titan, and Erin Titan Mode. The variant being Rage Mode, which, um, as you can see when I show them around in a minute, um, Erin has darker hair in Rage Mode. He has his veins coming out because. I believe he goes into rage mode when he fights Annie against Spoiler alert, sorry guys, as a Titan in her Titan form before she crystallises herself and tries to get over her own wall. Maria, I believe it's called Maria. So they're in the, that war when they had their big fight. But yeah, he's got um, white eyes. And you can see the veins there. Obviously, there's your standard. And the hair's darker as well. It looks darker to me. It looks very dark brown. Might just be the light, or maybe mine's just dulled down a bit. Who knows? And then I have only have one regular showtime. Re regular showtime? So I'm looking at my bench time ones here. I only have one regular show pop, which is Skips. Skips the Immortal. I don't have Rigby. I don't have Mordecai, you know, my favourite slackers. I have Benson. I don't have Muscle Man either. But we can hope. But Benson and Mordecai are quite hard to get. Adventure Time Pops. I have Jake the Dog, voiced by the brilliant Joe DiMaggio, who also does SpongeBob SquarePants. And, oh no, sorry, not SpongeBob SquarePants, that's someone else. SpongeBob SquarePants is the Ice King. Joe DiMaggio does Bender. I can't believe I got that wrong. 
from Futurama, and he also does Marcus Phoenix in Gears of War. Yeah, he's, um, I must have just kept extending these sets, because we've only got Marcy, LSP, Finn, and the Ice King, and Jake in this one. Obviously you've got, like, Zombie Jake, um, you've got, um, Zombie Finn, oh, that was a custom, um, go with that, Finn and Finn with the sword. Also got, um, Sander Princess Bubblegum. Uh, she came in a glow in the dark exclusive as well. And obviously, in the back of these, you can see this is must have been like season two. You got PB, Bemo, Lemon Grab, Fiona, and Cake. Fiona and Cake, you could get them single, and you could get them in a double pack HMV um, special, I believe. But PB, the glow in the dark one, is actually a um, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, as is um, Metallic Bemo. Sorry, glow in the dark Bemo, because I have Metallic right here to have standard. Oh god, I'm tight ones are a bit bashed in at the top. See that? Whoa. Oh dear me. I don't know whether that was me being... As someone commented, I stack mine like dirty dishes. Oh well, yeah, here's my glow and dark one. He's actually got the best glow of a glow and dark pop I've ever actually seen. Which I really like it. And then we've got um, J-Mo, which is BMO. Jamo was um, Jake when he turned into Bemo. I don't remember that happening in the show, but I've watched all the episodes and I might just kind of skip through trying to get to the story of what's going on with the comet at the minute. But yeah, I believe um, this one was a Target exclusive, whereas the Metallic was a Hot Topic exclusive. Again, these aren't stickered. I got these, I bought them from Pop in a Box, so they, they won't have the Hot Topic sticker, but who cares? Really? It's not a huge deal for me. Right then, now, let's crack on with my Disney collection. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, fell. Sorry if I'm swearing and there's children watching. my other size that we'll see, which is just standard Baymax here. From the Big Hero 6 collection, you've got um, Wasabi No Ginger, Hero, Honey Lemon, Go Go, Standard Nurse Baymax, you've got Armoured Baymax, and you've got Fred. Um, there's also a couple more, there's two Baymaxes that came out for the San Diego Comic Con exclusives this year, which was um, Translucent um, Baymax, which has all the emo comms on him. He also got um, basically a head switcheroo, which was the armoured Baymax's body and the standard Baymax's head. <sighs> bit lazy, but hey ho. You've also got the customs, which are the glow in the dark one, there's an error glow in the dark, and there's a Disney store Baymax one, but the rest of them didn't have them um, variants at all. Now, let's crack on with um, my more favourites of collections. Share my Nightmare Before Christmas one. It is nowhere near finished, and in some ways it probably never will be. But um, I have standard Oogie Boogie, as you can see in the back. He is from season four of Disney, because they're all classing as Disney, so they all kind of went in series, not just all these and that made before Christmas. These are if you like Bambi, these are Nemo, these are Lilo and Stitch ones. Like Lilo and Stitch ones had their own little run, but then Stitch was singular on his own. As you can see, obviously, like, well, you've got, you've got your Sorcerer Mickey there, but you've got the Chernobog, who's also from Fantasia, but they're in the same series, but they're a bit later. And you've obviously got Goofy, but none of the other standard Mickeys other than Sorcerer. You've got the Mayor as well, Cinderella and the Evil Queen. You've got Wally and Eve together. Grumpy on his own, but no Snow White. And then you've got Jack Sparrow, who was the only Pax Caribbean one that came out, and Tigger, but there's no other Winnie the Pooh ones in that set, so as you can see, they don't come in total runs, like you have all the Winnie the Pooh ones, all of this series, all of the other series. And some of them did, but it's just because they just did basic ones, because these are very early releases. Well, it says mine's 2014, so he's probably just a truck out, but... Not that that matters, as I say, the codes are at the bottom there. I don't know who's an oldest one of my collection, or who's not, but whatever. Not really bothered. 
um, however, on the back of my zero, it does have all the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. But again, if you look at the numbers, it's not in a total run. But here's an epoptic because he's my glow in the dark chase. He is one of the um, oh, there's only two chase pops I've got so far, just the two. Well, he's my first chase. He wasn't the first one I got, but he's my second. Yeah, he's the um I believe this was to celebrate twenty years, it says twenty years on the back. And we've also got standard zero, who's just here. He has the same back as my chase, the 20 year one. So I'm guessing maybe these ones were produced before Uki and the um, standard Jack and Sally's because my standard Jack and Sally's don't have the 20 year on them. No, that's not that one, that's the wrong Sally. Yeah, they just come in the seasons, which is series two of Nightmare Before Christmas. As you can see, they've got some um, Toy Story 3 one there. Toy Story one, another Mickey and Minnie. We have two of the Beauty and the Beast sets, not all of them. So yeah, we have um, standard Jack and Sally. We also have the two Hot Topic exclusive Jack and Sallys, which is Sally with a rose and Jack with a snowflake. Again, they're bringing out some more of these this year, which is um, Pumpkin King Jack. And Sally with the thistles, so with the thistles when obviously she has the premonition that everything's going to burn down because the thistle changes into a Christmas tree, blah blah blah, poof, fire. Yeah, Jack is the Pumpkin King, which is like, I'm guessing it'll be the Pumpkin like when he first, you know, they bring him in on the horse at the opening of This Is Halloween, and he kind of does his little song and dance and jumps into the fountain, and then everyone's clapping. Yeah, sorry, I'm going into probably whole dialogue of the film here, but it's one of my favourite films, I know it all too well. I also have Santa Jack, obviously, when um, he goes to Christmas Land and decides, yes, I like this, this is different, I'm after something new, Halloween's tired, I'm going to be Santa, as you do. And he kidnaps him, and yeah, but yeah that's another one, the 20 year one, because it's got all of them at the back. Yeah, and they need to make a lot of shock and barrel. Yeah, that Funko Lock, Shark and Barrel Pops. And then what else do we have here? Ah. We only have two from the Frozen set. As you can see. The Frozen set there. This is, there's five there, but obviously we've got the variants because we've got like Translucent Anna, which was an SDCC. And then they did some more. There's so many different variants of all of It's unreal. But I have Elsa and Sven. Yeah, two I really desired. Because he's a reindeer and reindeers are real cute. And I have Maleficent. Not the movie version, just the uh, well, the, the live action movie, just the standard. If you want, you know, those two Maleficent movies, but I'm talking about the live action Sleeping Beauty one. And then I have all my stitches. I have a standard stitch, who's from series one. It's the only series, well, it's two series one because I've also got Maleficent 2. And then I have all of these four. So we have Elvis Stitch, who I think he might have been a Hot Topic exclusive as well, unless he was just a Hot Topic pre release. Squonk. Stitch 626, obviously, when he first escaped the ship and came to meet Lilo. And he got run over by a car and they thought he was a dog. And then. Lilo herself. And he joins there, Ohana. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch is another one of my uh, very much favourites. I much loved Disney films. Now, what else do we have? I've got DC, Hobbit, and Supernatural to show you now. Right, Supernatural sets six, nine, oh, 13. I only have 13. I'll start off with the lowest number, which is Sam Winchester. I have Metallic Blood Spatter, Sam Winchester, and obviously at that's this point it was just Sam being the Castiel, so all the variants have the exact same backs. I have FBI Sam and Dean. Well, this is just Sam, but then here's Dean. 
The backs of these are including Charlie and Crowley, which so far these are the only supernatural pops that have been released. So it's a very popular series, I mean, we're going on 10 series now. So we should hope. We also have Blood Spider Dean, the Arbor Underground Toys sticker. And I have Standard Winchester Brothers. I honestly did think that he was carrying the first blade, but there's just Hunter's blades. I think I was getting a bit ahead of myself. And I have three versions of Castiel. There was um, another version of Castiel, which was um, he had translucent wings, because that's his, when he's obviously an angel with his wings. You know he's an angel anyway, but you know what I mean. But yeah, that was a Hot Topic exclusive. I have, I believe this was also a Hot Topic exclusive, which is the Leviathan Castiel. I won't get into what happens there in case I'm going to do yet another spoiler alert, but um, yeah, it was pretty exciting. And then we've got Family Castiel, Aisha Collins, and I've got three Crowleys as well, which is Metallic Blood Spatter Crowley. I do not have standard Blood Spatter Crowley. And I also have... Red Eye Demon Crowley, which I believe I've only actually seen him go Red Eye Demon one time, and that was near the end of season nine, season ten, sorry. And we've got Sandra Crowley there. For some reason, he's holding what looks like a coffee cup with marshmallows in it. Maybe it's hot chocolate. I don't know. And then we have Charlie, played by the lovely Felicia Day, who also signed this for me. MCM this year. So yeah, that's my super actual collection. Yeah, we are nearing the end of this arduous journey with me and my pops. Let's get some DC over here. Here's the Batmobile. It's my only ride to date. One Batmobile. I don't think I'll be getting any more. I also have the mini tin set, which has got Harley Quinn, Batman, and the Joker in it. Oh, I should be a bit more organised, shouldn't I, guys? And then, DC. Here's my Arkham section. I have the Joker. This came in six, there was only one variation of this, which was the blue Arkham Batman. I do actually have the entire collection to show you. We've got Apple Sound Harley Quinn. Blue Hot Topic without the sticker though, Batman. Poison Ivy. Oh, here he is. Standard Batman. From the game, Hacken Asylum. And then I've got two White Lantern Bat Pops. So neither have got the Fugitive Toy sticker. These are just the standards, not the glow in the darks. So we've got White Lantern Flash, White Lantern Superman. There's also White Lantern Batman. We also have the variants of these, which are the glow in the dark ones. Also, Fugitive Toys exclusive. Unmasked Batman, he was a Target exclusive also. The back of his box makes me very sad. As you can see, so many rare pops there that I'll never ever get my hands on. For some reason he's in a pop set, I don't know why. <laughs> Hot Topic exclusive, Earth 2 Batman. I will eventually be um, putting all of my pops in pop protectors. And there's um, Joker Batman, I believe he was Midtown Toys exclusive. And he's a standalone variant. Because you can never evidently have too many Batman pops. Um, back of this box, my Nightwing. I only actually have the Harley Quinns and obviously him. Yeah, we've got a standard Dick Grayson Nightwing and the red one. But um, I think that might be the red Nightwing. I think that's Damien Wayne actually. But um, I'm waiting on the metallic one to eventually appear as if from nowhere for me. And then we've obviously got standard Harley Quinn with the mallet. And 
got Raven, it's my own Team Titan today, and she's got a variant. So there's six of those because she's um, a Hot Topic exclusive, and um, White Raven, who's um, quite hard to come by nowadays. I have Standard Fugitive Toys, Star Sapphire, Wonder Woman. You can also get, um, you also get this as a metallic version, as you can see, bottom of this box. Lots of different ones there. I only have another three, I think, from this selection, which you've already seen. You can see Ali. We've got Luke Crate Batman Joker. He's again, it's a standalone variant. Apparently, these are really common nowadays. I haven't thought it'd be worth a lot of money, but he's not at all. We have Harley Quinn Roller Derby from the comic book series, and she's on her own standalone comics. We have Black Lantern Reverse Flash. We also have uh, the Black Flash. Ooh. Most of the backs these are all the same anyway. Um, I think Black Flash and Black Reverse Flash are both Hot Topic exclusives too. Bizarro. I think he may have been an exclusive as well. That's 100%. And we have Catwoman. My only one from the Dark Knight Rises. I will eventually get Batman and I wasn't a fan of the Bane. I actually gave to away for charity. There we go. Because I prefer comic book Bane myself and let's hope he comes to light. I have Batgirl, another one of my rares here. I have Glow in the Dark Harley Quinn with Pop Gun. Black and white Harley Quinn, the um, Harrison exclusive. I have Pop Gun Harley Quinn, my very first Funko Pop. I say she's got a bit fading to her too. She'll always have a special place in my heart. Here's Standard Joker. And we've also got my Conquest Comics metallic exclusive Harley Quinn. And then last but not least, my DC collection. Yeah, another Harley Quinn, because I have them all. It's a special custom, done by Sophie the Shabby Geek. She's my pyjama party, Harley Quinn. She's real cool. Now, um, two more collections to go. I'll start off with my Hobbits, and then I'm going to take a pause break, and then I'll grab the Game of Thrones ones that are just behind me. We've got... Chase Smaug, my other Chase, he hasn't got a sticker, who cares? Gold Smaug, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, I believe, and Standard Smaug. It's got the entirety of the set on there, I am only missing Hatted Gandalf and the two variants that were the Hot Topic exclusives. Here we go, Bilbo Baggins. Gandalf and Gollum. Gandalf and Azog. I do apologise. Gollum's right here. And then the only one that they've did of the Lord of Rings, Sauron. So he's technically a standalone, but I still class him as a hobbit. We've got our two elves, Legolas Greenleaf and Thuriel. Then we have another variation here, Invisible Bill by Baggins, and Thorin Open Shield. Right then, let's just um, pause this now. <laughs> and we're back after a long time. And I've got my fabrications lastly. I've got my Deadpool, and I actually have two. And I've also got Harley Quinn. I gave away the Batman fabrication in a competition a little while ago. I think that one actually. Right, and I'm going to start backwards with the Game of Thrones. That's obviously the newer ones because of how I've stacked them here. And then my only oversize of the Game of Thrones collection, Viserion, to when he's grown up. This is um, edition 5. So you've got Grey Worm, The Mountain, Oberyn Martell. Jamie Lancer with a gold hand, Zerion, oversize, and a white. 
So yeah. Amy Lannister. White. Mountain. Grey one. And Oberyn Martell. Yes, my dog's called Oberyn, and yes, it is named after Oberyn Martell. Right then, now we're back on to season four, edition four, sorry, it should be. There we go. And it says there's four, but obviously there's a few, there's two variants of um, Jon Snow Castle Black, which I'll show you in a moment. So we have Littlefinger, Peter Baelish. And we have Sansa Stark. We have Samuel Tarly. And we have both. Uh, Castle Black John Snows, which is the standard, and the muddy. You can see there is actually quite a big difference. But yeah, he was um, a hot topic at Swiss, I believe. Good old muddy Castle Black John Snow before he went, um, sorry, spoiler alert, actually in the mud. Right then, I also have some double packs. I've got the Think Geek exclusive Cal and Khaleesi wedding set. And rather than get all the dragons singular, I opted to get Drogon, Rhaegar and Viserion as the three pack. So we will eventually get them all individually, but we'll see. So we're now on season edition three. Yeah, I'm missing a few, mainly from edition two, but they're only common, so I'm in no immediate rush for them. So see, here's um, Blue Dress Daenerys. Do you believe that's when she um, actually eventually gets to Marine? Yeah, Grey Wind. Poor old Grey Wind. Um, spoiler alert, he um, likes the big old blossom. We've got... This is from edition 1 though, but because of the numbers I put in here. This is uh, my Tyrion Lannister. This is the... Um, in battle armor, this would be the Battle of Blackwater when they besiege King's Landing from... Blackwater, I think it's the Battle of Blackwater, it's Stannis Baratheon. And we have um, our flat San Diego Comic Con exclusive Stickered Ghost. As we all know, it's um, Jon Snow's direwolf, and Grey Wind being Rob Stark's direwolf. I have Standard Ghost. I have some wood stickers on, price stickers. I've got um, Egret. And I'll now it's um, Jon Snow's Wildling Lover. I have both editions of Tyrion Lannister. I have the gold armour and the silver armour. I believe he was originally produced with the silver armour and then they brought him out with the gold but for some reason the silver seems to be more hot than he is even though they don't make the gold. The gold seems to be more hot than the other even though you can't get him. We're now still on edition three. We've got Hodor. So I was just wondering what that scar on his head was. I couldn't see in the picture. Shreya's is meant to be there. And then we've got, hmm, Joffrey Baratheon. Interesting why they called him Joffrey Baratheon and not Joffrey Lannister, though. We have, back on edition one here, from season one, White Walker. I have the Glow in the Dark White Walker incoming too, which I'm going to get him probably next week. Not the Beyond the Wall Jon Snow, I believe that that's, um, it's this Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall exclusive, I'm guessing this was the HBO exclusive. The difference to him is, you can see him, he's all sparkle sparkle, he's got glitter. Making Jon Snow look extra pretty. There we go, we've got standard Jon Snow. Again, my box has sustained a little bit of fading. There's all the edition twos. I'll show you the back of an edition one again in a moment. Rob's an edition two as well. Rob Stark, I got him in a My Geek box. I believe it was Quest. There's another edition too. Jamie Lannister. And here's one that a lot of people are trying to be getting hold of. Good old Renly Baratheon. I'm not sure why he's been, I think he's been vaulted as have quite a lot of a lot of them. Here we go, this is the back of edition one. I have all of these. <laughs> We've got the Hound, which again is uh, Gregor Clegane, because this is Sandor Clegane. The Mountain being Gregor Clegane. And um, 
I am actually missing one, which is Gold Dragon Daenerys. I'm not actually missing it, I think I've got her coming as well. Oh yes, I've got more coming than I think. Bloody hell, I'm forgetting what I've even got. Here it is, Daenerys Stormborn, or Daenerys Targaryen, whatever you want to call her. Here's the standard one, and here's the one that's got Red Dragon. Again, that one was um, an exclusive variant. box of my sandwich is a bit naffed up there. Right, last three. Ned Stark. I will never, ever, ever own Headless Stark. And certain people putting them on eBay and flipping them when you win them for £2.50. But yeah. And then other people just deciding that they think he's worth £400 or near enough. And I, think, I don't really think he is. A pop's probably worth what you want to pay. And I don't want to pay £400. I'm happy to pay £150. And that's probably my limit. So I might be out of luck here. Here's the Pop Culture exclusive. I know it's on the sticker, but that's... um. Scarred Tyrion. The only difference between him and the other one is that this Tyrion's not holding an axe and he's got like a little kind of sleep or a scar under his eye there. And then here we go, lastly, and he's also number one, Tyrion Lannister. Well, he's still got quite a stick on it, but mind. Well, thank you for enjoying this journey with me and seeing my pops. So, have a nice day, continue collecting, guys.